Hey guys, welcome back to Games and Mods, and uh, we have a special package here today, along with uh, a whole slew of uh, more packages to go over. But the first one that we're going to be getting at is from, oh god, I don't remember the website. I think it was called Kublai, K-U-B-L-A-I, I'll put it down below. Uh, but this is the SPF... Uh, or sorry, Strike Master SPF 50. Uh, this is what the uh, Game Face uh, Geon was based off of. Uh, this is the original design, I believe. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. All right, so it's pack. It's a box in a box. Very cool, but it's a very nice looking box. It says Strike Master right there. So I'm guessing it says that on the. Uh, Blaster itself. Let me see if I can get this plastic off here. I got a brand new uh, razor blade to open stuff up. Let me go back to my knives though, just because they're a little bit dull and I don't want to cut myself on accident. Alright, there we go. We got the plastic off. So, let's see what's in here. Now I did buy, after I ordered this, I, I ordered an um, upgrade spring for it. I don't know if it's in one of the packages that I have or if it's on its way. Um, but when we get that, we will be putting that into this. So, let's see what we have here. We have the instructions, of course. Basically, it's a slide back, has a magazine, mag and fed, uh, short darts, Pretty much self-explanatory. I believe it has a safety in it. Uh, yeah. So let's get it out. Ooh, that is a pretty blaster. <laughs> now, I think they had two different colors uh, on, Am on Amazon. This isn't from Amazon. Uh, but on Amazon, they show two colors. They have this one and like a black one. Um, I couldn't find the black one, uh, so I got this one, but it's still, this is cool. This is actually pretty heavy. Um, God, that's pretty. It's very pretty. Um, but it's a heavy blaster. Um, for It's like a hand cannon. It's pretty nuts. Very cool. So I'm going to guess this is the mag eject button. Yep. All right. Very cool. Just one mag. I don't know if I ordered another mag or not. I don't remember. But very cool. Slides in very nicely. We got some darts here. These are those, uh, I don't know what these are. I call them the te Temu darts because it looks like there's an upside down T on them. Uh, but these are the short darts that come with them. So we'll pop these open. Now, I don't think there's anything underneath. Yeah, there's nothing underneath, which is fine. But I heard that the easiest way um, to prime this is on these. If you hold, your, hold it here and you prime back. There you go. So because it has an empty magazine in it, um, it holds out and then the return, I believe, Is there a return? I mean not. Hold on. Let's see if I put a dart in there. Usually it's up here. Hmm. Let me look one second. Okay, I figured it out. So, say it's empty, right? Like you don't have a mag in it or you don't have any uh, uh, darts in there. So say you prime it. Oh, that didn't stick. <laughs> say, say you have a empty mag in there, right? So say you prime this back and it's stuck open, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the mag out and you can just Push on back, I believe. Kind of push it back and then slide forward. There you go. 
to um let's load up some of the darts that came with it and uh put it over the chronograph here see what we get All right, load in five dart. Uh, now I believe this is a proprietary magazine, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this to the range. All right, guys, here we are with the uh, chronograph and the uh, dart catcher there, and here we are with the uh, Strike Master F SP50, rather. Now, uh, this is a safety kind of thing. Uh, it's not a button or anything like we're used to, but it's a switch to push up, so that uh, when it's on the I guess fake screw or the when it's in the up position, uh, you can't push it back, um, which I'm trying to do now. But when it's down, you can prime it. So that's good to know. But uh, there's five darts in the mag. Let's uh, let's see what kind of FPS we get. One on one, not bad. Sixty-eight. Hmm. Kind of a dud. 75. 111. <laughs> that kind of just fell out. I don't know what the problem was there. Um, but I'm noticing something. If you look right here, the inner barrel here, it's a little loose. So when we upgrade this with the spring, we're definitely going to have to tighten some stuff, probably relube some stuff. Um, but I think once we put the spring in there, it'll hit well over 100 since a couple of shots hit over 100 now. Um, but yeah, this is basically a blast that's in the works. Um, and that's probably why it was a little bit cheaper than the other sites on Kublai. I don't know how to say it. Kubla. Kublai, whatever. Um, but I'll leave the link down below if you want to pick one of these up. Um, and for future videos, when we go over the Geon, which I've heard a lot of talk about, and not in the good sense, uh, we will compare the two, of course, and then uh, uh, see what's inside of both of them. See what's different and what uh, can be fixed, if anything. So, other than that, guys... Um, I'm Gizmods. Please like, follow, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye.